Eduardo Coraça, a raw food chef from Brazil, and today I'm going to present a fig pudding. So, for the, this recipe, we're going to need fresh figs, like 800 grams, almost a kilo, and dried figs, approximately 200 grams to 250 grams. It's only this. The recipe is pure fig or pure deliciousness. And the dehydrated figs will give the consistency of the pudding and the sweetness of it. So, preferably, we're going to use the most sweet figs that you find and the most ripe ones, okay? When, it, when the fruit is really mushy and soft. So, we take out these stems because they are quite tough and you can feel it if you blend with it. And all the dehydrated figs, but they also have stems. So if you can take them out, it's better. One important part is always adding the fresh figs first because when they hit the blade of the blender, they release their liquids and make easier for the blender to mix. And it even makes easier, uh, and you don't even stress the blender with so many dense things without liquid. You can also soak the figs, the dried figs, but it will take out a little bit of the flavor and the fig, the pudding consistency. So now let's turn on the blender and make some delicious fig pudding. Ideally, it's better to blend for a minute or so to get a more a better consistency and to have sure that all the dried fruit was broken to microparticles and releasing their sugar into the fig pudding or else we get like big chunks of dried fruit and the, the pudding will not be as sweet as it should be. The consistency we are seeking is like this, really tough. When you try to uh, move the blender, like, and it doesn't, the fig pudding almost doesn't move. Stay still. Now we are going to serve. So, now we are going to open one dried fig and with our fingers, get these little bowls and a little bit of the, the dried sugars on it and make really little and soft bowls so you can spread out through the dessert. It's just to make the presentation look better. Actually, <laughs> taste-wise, it doesn't make any difference. And now, the best part, tasting it. Mm. So delicious and consistent. It tastes like... the best fig pudding I ever had. If you want to embrace a little bit the experience, you can freeze it, you can put it on the refrigerator for a couple hours or even a day. The next day, this will be even better. See you in the next recipe video.